Hi guys, welcome back to my vlog. I decided to pull out the camera today. I am not doing much, just taking care of the house. Caden's in daycare. Um, Nora just went down for a nap. I got myself a little bit ready today, just did my makeup, um, and I threw my hair up this morning because I just did not feel like doing it. So I have to clean up the house today. I have to do chores. I thought I would chat with you guys kind of while I do that, full laundry, you know, the deal. Um, most days when Caden's in daycare, I pick up a lot throughout the house and <laughs> do chores and stuff. Um, usually on Mondays, I get all my groceries. Um, today's Tuesday, so yesterday I did my grocery delivery. Honestly, guys, ever since the pandemic, I have gotten my groceries delivered and I have just stuck with it. Having kids, it makes it so much easier for me. There are times where I will like grocery shop and go in person, but I honestly do it through Target for most of the things that we need. And then I will go to like ShopRite or like other grocery stores um, to get produce and things like that. Cause sometimes Target's not great with that. But I do a lot of my grocery orders through Target because, and this is not sp sponsored. It's gonna sound sponsored cause I do it so much. But if you sign up, I think it's like $90 or maybe $100 for the whole year and you get like free delivery and free and delivery is usually $10. So I don't have a red card. So it just like works out. I get 5% every time. Mondays are usually my grocery delivery days. Like I do that every two weeks or so. I'll get like meals for the weeks. Um, and I'll show you kind of what I'm starting to do, which makes things a lot easier. I'm going to talk a lot about my anxiety too because I've just had a lot of postpartum anxiety recently. Um, kind of why I've been a little distant but I've been doing certain things to keep my life organized because if I'm not I go crazy um, and I start to like feel extremely anxious um, that I have so much to do so much to keep up with. So this is one thing that I've been doing is just doing my grocery deliveries, having my meals prepped. It also really helps if you are a spender in the grocery store. I literally just get the meals and the ingredients and then just like what Caden needs for school, like his lunches and snacks and stuff like that. But that way I don't overspend in the grocery store. Especially when you go to the grocery store hungry, you just like buy, buy, buy. Yeah, so yesterday I did my grocery delivery. I cleaned out the fridge. I restocked the fridge. Um, it's not like fully fully stocked but we have our meals for the week and I'm going to share that with you. Um, I'm going to share some meals that I'm making this week and kind of a system that I am going to do that just takes a little bit of stress off of me. I have a ton of laundry to do. I have dishes to do so <laughs> you're going to see me do chores today. It's not going to be too exciting but this is just mom life. Also, we're getting new furniture for our bedroom. Um, it's been happening little by little. Honestly, I've been looking on Facebook Marketplace. I was really considering flipping some furniture. Um, I, I still had the mirrored furniture in our bedroom from when I lived at my parents' house. I know, crazy. Uh, so we're getting rid of it. We're upgrading. It's not my style anymore. It's, it's more girly. It's not very like me and my husband's style. So I got new nightstands, which I love from Target, and I have been stalking these because every time they go on sale, they sell out immediately. So I just ordered these. I ordered a dresser from Wayfair. I still need a dresser, but I'm selling my nightstands and my dresser um, that I've had forever. So that's kind of in the works. And I'll reshare all of our bedroom stuff again once it, this is done. But yeah, so far I, I'm trying to do these things also to re-inspire me and give me some calm. I feel like every room in my house is like a cluttered disaster and that's also been giving me a lot of anxiety. It's been such a trigger for me and this is something that I've been talking to my husband about on like ways that he can help me ease my anxiety because I have a really hard time um, not getting overwhelmed with just like messes and clutter and if I don't do a little bit every day or like have a routine I will go crazy um, it also helps to have someone come and clean my house which has not happened in a while because we had Nora and then we 
my both my kids were sick right after she was born and then I just have been putting it off and putting it off and putting it off so finally they are coming on Halloween morning um so in like a week or I guess the end of this week I have not gotten my house cleaned like a good cleaning in months so that's also <laughs> driving me nuts I have really just done everything myself but you know it just gets overwhelming taking care of the kids and cleaning up after them and just you know I I sometimes just let my house go and then I wonder why I have so much anxiety so anyway um, I am gonna do some of these posts that I need to get done I got a couple like new things for fall honestly just some like loungewear cozy things which is what I'm wearing today and I'll show you but it's like the only thing that I really want to wear um I also got some new glasses so I will share these two I have not been liking wearing my contacts and honestly my eyes have really been irritated like lately so that's why I've been wearing glasses so much you see me wear this on Instagram a bunch so I will put a link below to my glasses um but I'm gonna do a couple posts and then I will be back um probably when Nora wakes up in a little bit it's like 12 30 right now she's been down for about an hour so I don't know how much how much time I got to work with but we'll see what did you get everything also I'm gonna try to make my hair look like hers oh nice it's not that bad Everyone's, uh, it's crooked, that's the thing. There was a, so I'll try to like steam it up and then. Um, you look good. I wear my boots and I have a belt and what else? Anything else I need to get? Um, yeah, just like your sunglasses. I mean, if you want to wear like a button down shirt underneath. Or So I wanted to try to show you guys um, my outfit. I'm probably going to have to put her down for this because it's going to be kind of hard to show. It's a little bit easier when I hold her with my left arm. Um, but I wanted to show you guys these like flared pants that I got from um, Airy or American Eagle. Um, I think they're Airy, but they have a huge discount right now. It's like 40 to 60% off. A bunch of their stuff so I wanted to link it for you guys um, but they're like a really nice sweater material and the flared leggings are just like in right now or I guess you should call them yoga pants but they're like coming back so I got a few pairs of these um, I got them in gray and like a cute um, kind of like camel burnt orange color kind of like my shirt and I also got a bunch of these flannels and stuff so I'll link them as well but this is my little mom fit um I had on those other slippers back there but then I switched into these little fuzzy things and this is what I'm wearing so I'm gonna go down um and do some dishes because I need to clean up the house a little bit I made some breakfast for myself before I got ready and I didn't clean up so I'm gonna go do that and let her have some tummy time and stuff I just fed her and changed her so she should be good for a little bit the leaves look so pretty outside and I don't even want to show you guys my dishes because they're literally overflowing
got done all the dishes. I just have like some of my bottle stuff over here and pump stuff and I just fed her. One thing that I just started doing was writing out all of my meals on this little like whiteboard and then I decided to do sticky notes on my fridge of all of the recipes um, or some of them that like I don't remember everything I need. That way every night I will be able to just grab the sticky note and then grab all the ingredients instead of like having to think of everything. I know it sounds like dumb, like why can't you just think off the top of your head? But for me, like just to be less stressed, <laughs> um, it just, I don't know. I thought it would really help me. A couple of the meals that I put on the fridge, um, I'm gonna make the one pot Cajun chicken pasta dish tonight. These are kind of like coming off. And then I have chipotle bowls, a lot of chicken. <laughs> um, this chicken and green bean stuffing little crock pot thing, which is so, so good. It reminds me of like green bean casserole from um, Thanksgiving. And then these like French onion ground beef burger things. They actually are like sliders. We've made them before, but now we're gonna make them as like actual burger style, like a full sandwich. I have a few other meals over here. So like we had lemon regatta raviolis yesterday, um, teriyaki salmon and rice. I don't need that many ingredients for that. So I just grabbed the ones that I needed more ingredients. It's just been helping me. And then also I like to be ahead of the game for everything for Caden. So like as soon as he comes home, he's gonna want a snack. So I just like try to keep in mind that things are a little chaotic. When he gets home, I saw something, um, it was like a meme or something on TikTok, I don't remember, but it said something about like gearing up for the time of day between four and seven because I feel like it is so chaotic between like kids getting home from school and like snack, pre prepping dinner, getting them ready for bath, bedtime, like it's just crazy and it's so true because between four and seven, I just like cannot wait for my kids to go to bed because it's just been such a long day. But anyway, Caden is gonna want a snack when he comes home, so I've planned to make him a smoothie. I would set out his snack or like have it somewhat ready. Same thing with the morning with his lunches. I like to have things out, ready. I know what I'm packing. Um, and then like have his clothes out, things like that. Just be ahead of the game. It makes things less stressful, so. Well, I feel like my day is almost gone because I have to go get Caden. By the time I fed her, did the dishes, cleaned up a little bit. Um, I didn't get to the laundry yet. I don't know when I'm gonna do that. Um, I have to go get him. It's really annoying when I have to bring her and then get him because I have to like drag her in the car seat and I can barely carry her. <laughs> She's getting so heavy. But yeah, I'm gonna head out. Oh, I recently got this phone case on Amazon and I love it because I have this little magnetic thing that I put here and it just easily clips onto my phone. And then I also have this little camera that I get to watch her with and I'll link this for you guys. So I wanted to talk a little bit about my postpartum anxiety and kind of what I've been feeling, what I've been going through. And I recently talked to my husband about this because he suggested that I probably talk to someone because he is having a really hard time comforting me in these moments where I like have these breakdowns and like these meltdowns. Um, and he's always super supportive and like understands my anxiety to a certain extent, but I don't know if this is normal or not. You know, I don't know if this is postpartum. And I, I definitely think that it is a lot of postpartum. Um, and I don't think I fully healed like mentally. Like with Caden, it was actually a lot worse, but I don't think that I healed mentally until probably a full year after I had him. And I'm expecting it to be similar this time around. I'm expecting to still be dealing with this stuff for months. Um, your hormones, like everything is crazy. And even before I was pregnant, my periods were really bad. I probably, I probably do have, um, what is it called? It's like PMS, but it's like PMDD or something. 
I really do feel like I could have been diagnosed with that because the week before I get my period, I am super depressed, super emotional, like hate my life, like everything is just awful. And it sucks because you kind of like take that out on people around you and it's just really hard emotionally. When I was pregnant, I definitely didn't deal with that because I, I mean, you deal with pregnancy emotions, but you don't deal with the period, right? Um, I finally got my period, which I was not expecting because I am breastfeeding and pumping. So I was just really shocked that I got it as early as I did. And I was expecting to go like months without getting it, but I ended up getting it around the 10 week mark. Um, so that was surprising for me, um, and that has sucked, and it has been very intense. Uh, my first period was awful, and then every time that I ovulate now, which I think I've done twice because I like took ovulation tests and I got positives, I have been feeling very sick. It is so, so bizarre, probably about 24 to 48 hours. I feel like I'm coming down with a flu when I'm ovulating. It is crazy. I have really bad nausea, really bad like back pain, abdominal pain. Um, I kind of get like feverish and it's hard for me to like eat. I just like have like the worst stomach ache. It's really weird. And then I also have like loose bowels. So that's been <laughs> kind of strange. Um, yeah, so I got my cycle and, and a lot of those emotions and like hormones you're also dealing with from getting your cycle back. So it's just kind of been a lot. I've been very emotional lately and one thing that I've been dealing with with a lot of this anxiety, because I don't feel that I'm depressed. I, I don't feel that way. I mean, I have my down days, but I don't feel depressed. I just have really, really bad anxiety and I so wish that I could take my CBD again because I was on Equilibria CBD for like the longest time. I don't know if you guys remember that, but it was before I got pregnant, I was taking CBD every day, multiple times a day. And I swear that it really helped me just like be calmer. And if anything came up throughout the day that stressed me out, I just felt like I was able to deal with it better. Um, and I wanted to go more of a natural route because I'm just not about doing medication anymore, at least for right now. Like if I'm desperate, if I need it, I will. But I am just, I'm really trying to avoid taking medication again, doing any type of anxiety or antidepressants. Um, they have helped me in the past, but I'm just not willing to go through trials of doing it and like gaining weight and losing hair and like all that stuff. I'm just not, I, I, I don't want to do it to myself and I really want to try to do natural things. The only thing is like CBD, like cannabis, any of those things I can't do while I'm breastfeeding. So I really have to wait. Um, so that's the only thing that sucks. I just, I, I feel like I'm in this stage right now where I've had to put a lot of things off for me and it kind it, 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 you're very selfless when you're breastfeeding and like you're doing everything for your baby. And I, I do feel like I'm in a really hard spot right now because I so want to be able to help myself and I can't, um, so I'm, I'm definitely going to look into therapy. I really think it'll help me. Um, I also thought that like maybe vlogging and speaking about these things might help just like talking about what I'm going through and speaking it out loud. I don't know. Um, but yeah, the one thing that I've been struggling with so much that I expressed to my husband and he's experienced is just dealing with a lot of like clutter messes being very unorganized has affected me a lot. I know it sounds, it, it sounds kind of dumb. It sounds like, how could that give you severe anxiety? But it does. I, and what's crazy is like, I don't even know how to like, diagnose myself with this. I don't really know what exactly is that I'm dealing with, like what the disorder is. I'm gonna put that in quotations because I really do feel like it's kind of a disorder. 
but I am not a very super clean, organized, like type A person. I, I'm not that person. My dad is that way, my sister is that way. I am not that person, but one of those things is like messes and um, clutter and like not being organized and I feel so unproductive, so unmotivated because of that which I feel is hard because I'm like surrounded by the same four walls every single day so it's just it's hard to be motivated it's hard to constantly do the monotonous things every single day do the house chores clean up um, take care of the kid like it's just you know it's so monotonous you start to like go stir crazy the thing is leaving the house with the kids is a big trigger for me and I feel like I go through this like mental list of making sure that I have everything for them and I start to like panic a little bit I get really anxious about how they're gonna act while I'm out being alone especially like get this way when we go anywhere like me and my husband with the kids which is very rare like we really haven't done much um, and my husband's been so busy like working so we haven't had much free time but especially me being alone with them, I get really bad anxiety. Just also making sure that I have everything for them. Like I go, like I said, I go through this like mental list. So that's, um, that's been a trigger for me. Um, I, um, I'll talk about this a little bit more, but this is just some things that I've been dealing with postpartum and yeah, I just, I think that therapy could definitely help me. I think just talking through these things. Um, and I know that the more that I get out, the more I bring my kids places, like I will feel more comfortable, but it definitely helps to have someone with me, a friend, a family member, like have extra hands is always helpful. So I wanna say something positive as well. I don't wanna sound so negative. Um, Nora has been such a good baby, like, she is sleeping so well. She gets up like once a night. Like I really, really cannot complain about her. She is such an angel and she has not given us a hard time. Like the first week, the first few weeks were rough. They're always rough. Um, but the past couple months have really been so good. And I'm so blessed. I really, really am. And we're hitting, we're three months now. She's three months. So I'm expecting between three and four months we're gonna hit that regression and things are probably gonna go downhill. But for right now, I'm very happy with like our schedule and the way things are going. Um, and I also think that something that will help us too is keeping on a schedule and routine and that does help my anxiety as well. It's like, it's kinda like I know what to expect. I know how things are gonna go. Um, one thing that we've been doing for nighttime is Anthony will, I will go to bed a little bit before Anthony and I will pump so that he can give her that milk. I guess the nighttime milk is like helpful for them to sleep. Um, he will feed her at like midnight and then she will pretty much go until early morning. Sometimes she'll wake up around like four or five, but she's been stretching it to like six or seven and it's been great. Um, some nights are different than others. One night she literally slept until like nine. It was crazy. And we checked with the pediatrician too to make sure that she's gaining and she gained like five pounds from the last time we brought her the pediatrician. So she's a chunk. She's gaining, she's she's doing amazing. Um, and I've just obviously been trying to keep up with breastfeeding and pumping and all of that. And I am probably gonna talk about that in a whole separate video. I want to, gosh, I still need to get to my birth story. Maybe I'll do it in both, I don't know. Um, but things have been crazy. Katie was just sick for like almost three weeks. He's still sick. It's been like four weeks now and he's still sick, but he was sick with some crazy virus. Um, and he developed ear infections and all of that for like two weeks, it was awful. So things have been a little nuts over here. Also had such a good experience with breastfeeding and pumping. So blessed for that because I have heard of many stories of mama struggling so much and my heart goes out to you because it is such hard work um, and I, I just have been so, so blessed that things have gone well with that too. Anyways, I'm gonna go grab Kaden. It's four o'clock, um, time to get him and I gotta drag her in too and my back is killing me. I need to go to the chiropractor because 
carrying around this car seat with her getting so heavy, um, I'm dying. Yeah, I'll be here. So another thing that's new, another update, is Kaden is now potty trained. Guys. Yeah, it needs batteries. Oh, that's yucky. That's the vacuum. We need to charge it. You try it? Um. <laughs> yeah. So Kaden is now potty trained. He is still trying to figure out pooping on the potty, but he's peeing on the potty, wearing underwear all day, yeah, wearing underwear when we're out. Waters. He likes to play in the car when I pick him up, which is kind of annoying because then we just sit here for a while. Yeah. While he was sick for those two weeks, we decided to just bite the bullet and just do it then because we were home every day. All right. This corner is always a mess, but um, the craziness begins as soon as he gets home. He just had a yogurt, I put out some crackers for him. Um, he did not want a smoothie, so I just gave him a little snack. Caden, where does your trash go, bud? Can you put that in the trash? Cade. Caden. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that is trash cans. Go put that in the trash, please. Yeah, go put it in the trash. So I just made dinner and Anthony's getting home pretty late, it's like past seven. And this is usually a late dinner because I try to have it done by like 6.30 because that's when Caden's really hungry. Um, I'm trying to thicken up this sauce a little bit, but it looks good. I mean, it is what it is, I've tried. I also was supposed to use penne pasta and we don't have any, so this will have to do. But um, Anthony's on his way home. Nora is down for a nap again, her little like nap before bed. I'm heating something up for Kaden. I started watching that show on Netflix called The Watcher and I was really disappointed. I don't think it's worth watching. When it ended, I literally was like, are you kidding me? That was a waste of my time. The only good part about it was that I got to watch it with my husband. <laughs> And like we agreed to watch a show together. The only other show we're watching is House of Dragon. And that's about to end the season finale. Oh my gosh. I just realized my lens was closed. Um, but yeah, that was not worth it. I did not like it. Um, there was so much suspense and build up. And then the way it ended just sucked. So that's my personal opinion. But I just hate shows like that. <laughs> I'm going to wait for him to get home. Um, I think hopefully what I made is good. Is anyone like me and you don't taste it until someone else tastes it? Probably a bad cook because I don't do that. Like I don't taste my food before serving it. I probably should. 